As photographers, we manage to get really good at pretending that it only takes us few seconds to set up our lights for a portrait shoot. And because of that, it's so easy to think that you're not as good as a photographer as I am just because all I'm showing is my final light setup and the amazing photos that came out of it. So today, I want to take you behind the scenes and show you my entire thought process as I was going through this self-portrait session. But first, allow me to introduce myself. Hi, I am Vlad and I'm a photographer who uses self-portraits as a way to improve his photography skills and also experiment with various new techniques. So on the left side, there's gonna be a time lapse of my entire photo shoot and on the middle of the screen, I'm going to try and animate a light diagram so you can learn from my lighting. But the entire goal of today's videos is to show that it takes us a while to find the perfect light and create a shot from scratch. It's not just something that happens. You're seeing me plopping the camera onto the tripod and I'm plugging in the Wi-Fi router that I use to remote control my camera from the phone. The blue light that you are seeing in the entire room is coming from my DIY LED panel that I'm going to make a video about in the future. And now I was setting up a red light as a key light on the far side of the face so it would look cinematic. The whole idea was to have a triad of colors, red light, blue background and I was wearing a yellow jacket to make everything look good. But as you can see in the video I was still tinkering around, bringing in a white fill and I was still unhappy with the light. To make stuff more interesting I'm adding one more light, bounced into a broken mirror to reflect onto the background and create interesting shapes. Now in order to create contrast with the blue background I gelled this light orange and now I had way too many colors of light so I matched my key light with with this background light in order to have some cohesion in the shot. But because there was still too much contrast, I brought in one more fill panel on the left side of the camera. That was not enough for my taste to add some atmosphere and take the contrast levels down even more, I added some smoke to the room. Now, since the entire pattern on the wall thing became barely visible to the camera, I decided to dismiss that and I switched that light into my key light coming from behind of me to look cinematic and use my original key light in order to give me some fill light from below to add some warmer tones in the darker areas of my face. Here you can see me blocking the fill light from spilling onto the background. At first I was using a silver reflector but then I switched to a small mirror because it was easier to hold in place. And that's pretty much my final light setup. Keep in mind this whole time I was also tweaking some mist filters and in order to get a nice lens flare, I used some finger grease on the front element of the lens. As you probably noticed, with this video I didn't talk about the camera or the setting that I've used. That's because the one message that I want to send out into the world with this video is not to get discouraged whenever it takes you a while to find the right light for your scene. Even if you see people online setting up the light in one try, the reality is they probably tweaked it at least a dozen times. And if you're a content creator like me, maybe take a few seconds in your next video to show the tinkering and the process you went through before getting the right light for your shots. 